Hi, everybody. We're going to do uh, a warm-up today. We're going to do kind of independently of what we normally do where we're moving in different directions. So instead of doing all six points at once, we're going to go and do one at a time with a little bit of the trunk rotation. Then after that, we're going to stick to some of our basic exercises, our squat, our push-up, our rotational movements, our curl and press that we use with dumbbells or we use with bottles of water or you can use cans of corn or whatever you have available to, to give yourself a little bit of weight. So uh, we'll have some fun today. Hello everyone. Today's warm up is going to be a little bit different. We're going to put a little twist on what we normally do, literally. Um, so here's our normal and basic warm up. The reason why we do this is we get multiple planes. We're having our joints stabilized and getting mobility in multiple different directions. So this is what we've done many, many times. And, and people that have worked with me in person in this room um, probably get sick of this. But there is a method to my madness, and there's a reason why we do it. So today we're going to break it up, and we're going to add a little bit more trunk rotation to, to, um, to the different movements. And we're going to do them one at a time. So we're going to go forward or sagittal plane. And what I want you to do is, is kind of rotate a little bit, OK? And we're going to do 10 each. Turn your head with your hand, with your body. Unless you get dizzy, if you need to, then you can you know, find your focal point on the wall or what have you. So we're going to go 10 each side, each direction. Try and rotate your trunk. So you're rotating towards the leg that's traveling, okay? not the grounded leg. So I'm not turning this way, turning across. Okay, nice and fluid. Don't stay so tight and rigid. Just be nice and loose. One more on this side. Now we're going to do the opposite, switch. Okay, that slight rotation. Should feel good to get a nice stretch. Up tall every time. Okay. Now our second part, we're going to go lateral. Okay, but we're still going to add that rotation in. Okay. Remember, our toes are straight ahead. Okay, even on that traveling foot. Okay, switch. And return your head with your hands unless you get dizzy. And then you can look straight ahead, keep your equilibrium. Let's do one more. Now, this next one's kind of the same, but I want you to lift your arms and see if you can get a little bit more rotation. Okay? Here. Okay? So a variation of this is if you want to hang on to your stable surface like what we are when we do our exercises, to keep yourself kind of grounded, you can place a hand on the table or the counter so that you have some stability, some feel safe, okay? So you can keep your balance and then rotate as much as you feel like you can rotate safely. Okay, so two. And this toe stays straight ahead as much as you can. You're gonna pivot. And switch. Remember, you can hang on to stable surface and turn out like this, OK? If you don't feel safe or comfortable going all the way around and leaving that center line.
Okay. Now, let's work our spine in a couple of different directions here. Um, so, the same as our sagittal, transverse, and frontal plane movements, okay, we can do that with the spine as well. So, if I reach up, okay, I'm taking my spine. Now, I want to lift through my chest, okay? So, if you have lumbar spine, your cervical spine, and in the middle there is your thoracic spine. That's where we want to focus, okay? So it's real easy for me just to crank on my lumbar spine here, but what I want to focus on is lifting the chest to get some extension through my thoracic spine, okay? So I can lift, okay? And we'll do this eight times. Lift, but without pushing your pelvis forward. Here. Okay, now this is the same thing as if I'm moving forward this way, okay? So I'm moving in the same direction, okay? Okay, now if I'm moving lateral, okay? I'm gonna take my spine kind of in that same direction too. So make sure you're, if you're standing next to a wall, or in my case, the camera, I want to make sure my shoulders are square. So I don't want to rotate my shoulders at all, okay? I want to actually tilt, okay? We're gonna do eight each side. But you're gonna come back to the center. Okay, so two and two. Now, one of the things I want to focus on is don't shift your hips out this way. You want your hips to be directly over your feet. Okay, but now I'm taking my spine on that Transverse plane, just like we do with our lateral lunge. And without rotating my shoulders, okay? So now we're getting that spine warmed up. Don't force it, don't strain. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna take it on, same as this movement here, we're gonna articulate the spine that way. So just don't strain, but keep your hips. So now I wanna isolate my spine a little bit without putting the trunk of my body, okay? So you can put the hands here and rotate. Don't force it, just go to the range that feels comfortable. So if that's here, it's here. If it's farther around, that's great too. So now we're taking the spine through all three planes of motion that we did with our, our lunge pattern. So real important. Here, remember, kind of briefly stop in the center and then back. And if it causes dizziness, you know, find your focal point. Don't turn your head with your hands, but if you can safely do so. Right. Okay, so a little bit different war uh, warm up uh, than we normally do, but um, it'll get us ready to work for our next circuit. So we're doing one minute exercises and we're gonna do the following. We're gonna do a squat. We're, we're gonna do a little bit of a variation of the squat we did with last time. We're gonna do a push up and we're gonna do a little variation on that. We'll do a lateral lunge. Okay, last time we did reverse lunges and curtsy lunges. And then finally, we'll do lateral raises with the dumbbells, or like we used last time, you can use two cans of corn or peas, uh, two water bottles, whatever you can wrap your hands around and whatever has a little bit of weight to it, okay? But if you have a you know, pair of two, one, three pound, whatever dumbbells, you can use those as well. So last time when we squatted, I showed you some variations. I showed you, uh, you know, how to hold on to your kitchen counter, a very stable table, that's very important. Don't grab something that's flimsy. Um, or you can use a railing, like maybe on your second floor. Okay, something stable, something you feel very, very safe. Okay, it's very important. So we did our squats holding onto that, okay? And I showed you uh, how to squat to a chair. Okay, that's another option. Um, and then I showed you how to do a freestanding squat. So today I encourage you to try the freestanding squats. If you feel a little unsafe, then please, by all means, um, grab the, your stable surface, okay? But let me break it down. So 
you're not gonna, I can't see you, so you, you don't have to worry about trying to impress me with how deep you can go into your squat, okay? So if I squat this low and my hips are over my heels, okay? I can see the tips of my toes, okay? Very important. That's a good squat, okay? Certainly if I can get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, that's an even better squat. But this is a good squat, okay? Now, to try and get my depth by elevating my heels and going into my knees and I can't, now I can no longer see the tips of my toes, that's not a good squat. So I don't care how low you go with that, it's not good. But if I go this depth, or I go this depth or this depth, as long as my hips are over my heels and my heels are really solid to the floor and my um, I can see the tips of my toes. That's a good squat. So I don't care how deep you go. Okay. Now, last week we did just a standard push up on the stage. This time, I want to add a rotation to that. Okay. So for the whole minute, okay, I want you to alternate here. Now notice, this hand is over my shoulder, 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 hand. Okay unless there's strain, don't strain. So if, if, if you feel too much strain in your shoulder and your back, shorten up that range, okay? But shoot for this perfect alignment, okay? And then your head turns with your hand unless you get dizzy, okay? If you don't feel comfortable with that, by all means stay with the regular push-up, okay, for the full minute, okay? So I'm alternating here, here, okay? Now, I want everyone to use their stable surface. So we're gonna do a lateral lunge. So what we warmed up with, with our pattern here, here, and then we went lateral like that. Okay, so that's really just to get the hips warmed up, get the internal core temperature elevated. But for the exercise, I want you to try to go a little bit deeper. Okay, so from here, okay, try to go a little deeper than you did with your warm up. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to get maybe three or four more inches in depth, okay? So that's my goal, okay? Try to get a little bit deeper. Then we're gonna do a lateral raise, okay? So this will probably be the most fatiguing one that we have done so far. So you don't have to get very high, and I don't want you to get high and flex forward or you know, try to do this, extend too far, too far back. So if you have to shorten it up, you can keep it short, okay? Just get the shoulders working. If you can get to parallel, by all means, or if you start to get to parallel and you start to really get fatigued, you can shorten it up, okay? Any exercise that we do, I don't expect you to complete the entire minute if you're starting to feel shortness of breath or if you just get overly fatigued or you just frankly need a rest. So the clock's gonna keep running but I want you to play it safe and, and go at your pace, okay? So if you do half of that and do 30 seconds, that's, that's totally fine. So just have fun with it. All right, we're gonna start with the squats and I'll give you, say 10 seconds to get to the next exercise. Okay, let me pull up my timer. So we're gonna start with squats and again, I encourage step away from your stable surface, go as deep as you can and I don't care how deep it is, as long as the weight's in your heels, see the tips of your toes. Try, play around with your, your width of your feet, at least outside your hips, okay? So nothing inside the hips and certainly nothing outside your shoulder width. So somewhere within here, okay, if I have to bring my feet out just a little bit and it allows me to keep my heels down more and I can get a little bit deeper, then that's probably the good position for you, okay? So we'll get started. One minute, three, two, one, and go, okay? Keep the heels loaded. Okay, go to a depth that feels comfortable. One minute, and I'll give you a halfway mark. Keep your chest up, okay? So you wanna extend through your thoracic spine, okay? So here, when I lift, I don't have to crank on my lumbar, okay? I lift my chest and I go into squat, but I stay erect through my spine, halfway, and again, if you feel safe, if you don't feel safe, grab your stable surface and do your squats, okay? And if you wanna do it like this, every time we do squats, perfectly okay. Almost there, 10 seconds, weight in your heels, see the tips of your toes. 
three, two, one, and switch. So we're going to switch to our push-up and rotation. Okay. If you feel more comfortable just doing push-ups, do push-ups. I'll add variations from time to time or, or um, make it a little more challenging, but by all means you can stay with what you feel safe with. Ready in three, two, one, go. Okay, rotate, line it all up. I'm starting to go down in my push-up as I'm rotating back, okay? Line it up, rotating the trunk of my body. My heels don't have to be down, okay? If you have really flexible calves and you can go into a full push-up without lifting your heels, by all means, but that's not the goal. Halfway, okay? You can stay elevated onto your, your heels elevated. Push, rotate, line it all up. Turn your head with your hands unless it makes you dizzy. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, switch. We're gonna go to our lateral lunge. Make sure you have enough room um, to where you're not bumping into something. And try the non-traveling leg, so your grounded leg. Okay, so if I'm moving to my left, this is my traveling leg. Try and keep your grounded leg a little straight, okay? Don't lock that knee tight, but try to keep it straight so you get a stretch through your inner thigh here, okay? And then same on the other side. All right, ready in three, two, one, go. So, toes straight ahead. Again, weight in the heels. I'm doing a lateral lunge, and I'm kinda in this partial squatted position, but I can see the tips of my toes, okay? Or tip of my toe. Toe straight ahead so my knee tracks my toe, okay? If I turn it out and I'm lunging in this position, again, I, want, I don't want to put torque on my knee. Halfway. Hold in whatever way makes you feel the safest. But challenge that depth a little bit more than you did when we were warming up. Almost there, three, two, one. Okay, switch to our last exercise in the circuit. And we're gonna do lateral raises, okay? Grab whatever, grab bottles of water, um, cans. You can certainly just do your fists, okay? And ready, three, two, one, go. Okay, so remember, if this is your range, that's totally fine. What you wanna avoid is as soon as I have to go into flexion of my spine, that's too much, okay? So here, I wanna stay elevated. So if you can bring it all the way to parallel without going into flexion or without going into extreme extension of your lumbar spine, okay? So go to your range where you feel comfortable. Halfway. And look straight ahead. So try not to look down, try not to look up. Look straight ahead, keep your spine neutral, okay? Like I said, this will be the most fatiguing one that we do. So if you have to pause within that minute and then pick up a little bit, we're almost there. Three, two, one, and rest, and we're starting over again. So we're going back to that squat. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Weight in your heels, see the tips of my toes, okay? So challenge it, feel safe. So if I go to this depth and I feel safe, that's a good squat, okay? But visualize a target. Um, visualize the chair, when we were sitting in the chair last week, I'm gonna go all the way into my chair that will bring my hips parallel to my knees, okay? So that depth there. So that's our goal is as we move along in these classes, halfway, we get a little bit, little bit more depth each time, okay? 
Keep getting better and better and better. More range of motion. Okay. Remember, if you need to hang on, hang on to your stable surface. Okay. Almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Good job so far. Now we're going to go back to our push up and rotation. Again, stay with the push up if that's what you feel comfortable with. Three, two, one, and go. Push up, rotate. Okay. Push. Push, rotate. Okay, remember, whichever push up you're doing, halfway, don't elevate in your shoulders, okay? You don't want to stress your neck, okay? So if I elevate my shoulders like this, then I'm shutting down a lot of the muscles around my shoulder blades, my scapula. So I want to keep those active. So if I can keep my shoulders depressed, imagine that you had something in between your shoulder blades, you want to crush it, okay? Here. So now I'm just, I'm not turning this into a chest and shoulder exercise, I'm turning it into upper back as well. Three, two, one, switch. So let's go to our lateral lunge. Get ready, remember, toes straight ahead, weights in my hip and my heels, I can see the tip of my toe on my traveling foot. Three, two, one, and go. A little bit deeper than the lunge that we warmed up with. Okay, so if you warmed up with here just because you felt stable, because you weren't holding on to anything, use this for safety and try to go just a little bit deeper. A little bit more range of motion. Now you're more warm. You should be able to go a little bit deeper. Halfway, tip of my toe. Should feel some fatigue in my glutes when I'm done. And use your stable surface for stability. If you want to step away from your surface and you think you can go a little bit deeper but safe than you did with your warm up, then try that too. Three, two, one, rest. Finally, our lateral raise again. Remember, go to the, the range that feels most comfortable for you with no pain, no strain. Three, two, one, go. Remember, we don't want to strain it and flex our spines forward. Okay, we want to stay away from that anyway. Want to lift, but we don't want to crank out our lumbar spines either. So I think people in my class are sick of hearing me say neutral knees. That's something you'll hear me say a lot. Neutral knee, okay? I don't want to be locked out. This wastes a lot of energy, puts strain on my back. Halfway, I want to maintain neutral knee, neutral pelvis. I don't want pelvic tilt, okay? So a lot of my standing exercises, you want to maintain that neutral knee. Don't lock out. It'll help you to breathe and stand up straight. Neutral knee. Almost there. And three, two, one, and rest. So we'll finish with that. So feel free to re-watch these, or if you have access to a timer, you can see a timer, your watch, your phone, or you know, what have you, clock, and you want to go through you know, two or three more rounds, um, I challenge you to try you know, to do a little bit more. Um, and feel free to watch these again and again. So we'll mix it up every single time so it's not exactly the same thing. Um, we'll repeat some exercises so that you can see the progression in yourself. So if I don't repeat an exercise, then you don't know if you're going to get any better at it. So I want you to improve in strength, stamina, range of motion, and get stronger and live long, happy lives. So uh, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.